Selina Fuseni is a farmer in Ghana. It takes her two weeks to thresh every acre of her crop produce. And even at this rate, she still makes up to 40% losses. And she barely makes profits from this produce. My name is Theodore Henneboshe with City Company Limited. We've designed a multi-crop treasure to help solve Selena's problems because we know that Selena is not the only farmer in Ghana that faces this problem. We know that traditionally, they still thresh crops by beating with sticks. Our multi-crop treasure reduces the time it takes to thresh an acre of land from two weeks to two hours. My co-founder, Jeffrey, was a teacher. Several times we witnessed parents come to take their children from the classroom so that they can go work on the farms. He realized that it takes about 15 days to thresh one acre of land. He cannot allow the students to lose precious school time doing farm work. So at Sate Company Limited, what we've, the solution we have to this problem is our multi-crop treasure. It feels very exciting to be part of the winners because you know that there's somebody out there who sees that what you are doing is very impactful, but I'm very glad and I'm excited about that. The experience from the issue helped us in um, a number of ways. How are you going to fund this growth of your company? There's a market in Kenya. There's a market in Kenya. The seed grant that we got even from the show was what helped us to one, set up our facility. Currently, we are able to make one machine in three weeks. We are looking at um, stepping that up. Once we get a bigger facility, we should be able to produce more machines in less time. Other machines on the market cannot do the spectrum of crops that we do. We can do cereal, maize, soybean, rice, millet, sorghum, all on one machine. So depending on the crop that you are threshing, there are a few changes and a few settings that you may have to do, which is the speed of the engine and then the sieve that's inside. And you feed it through the hopper here. So inside here, there's a threshing drum. Then that is rubbed against the sieve by the threshing drum within the machine. Then from one end, we receive the seed, and then from another end, the chaff comes out. Before we went for the eye show, we were looking just at um, designing and designing for local fabricators. We didn't want to enter the same space with them. But after doing the eye show, we realized that, no, the bulk of the money is in making the machine. We couldn't enter manufacturing and then take away the job of the local fabricators from them. And based on the recommendation of the ISO judges was to partner with these local fabricators to produce machines that will help the smallholder farmers. The smallholder farmers were very dear to us. In Ghana, for instance, 80% of the food that we eat is from the smallholder farmers. We wanted to build stuff, and Jeffrey had a lot of knowledge in the agri area. I have knowledge in the mechanical engineering, so we just married the two, and we can come together and design machines that would help reduce the work that these children would otherwise have been doing on the farms, so that we are saving them the school time, the parents get the machines to do the work for them, and the students can have the time to stay in school and learn, so that they can have more promising futures.